Oxfam, Cruden, and Development Exchange Center are the implementing agencies for PROACT, a project taking place in Kebbi and Adama states, respectively. Seven local governments are benefiting from the project, four in Adamawa and three in Kebbi. In Adama state, Fofore, Song, Mobi South and Guyuk are the respective local governments benefiting from the PRO Act. The target of the project was to reach 35,000 uh, variable households in both Adama and Kebbi states. Uh, but so far, we've been able to reach 48,087 rural households uh, with different components of the project intervention, you know, relevant to their level of vulnerability. As the project clocked 30 year, they gathered here to review the journey so far. Thanks to the solidarity and... The country director of Oxfam, Constant Chona, says PROACT has built 350 community managed food reserves and is all functioning. He added that about 6,000 households receive more than 6,000 goats with improved breed of books, while 4,500 households received about 49 chickens with improved breed of cocks. In about one year, the project will be ending, exactly in April 2020. The project has, uh, at this time, surpassed the, the target it was set to achieve. We are hearing good testimonies from the communities, from the women and the men um, this project was set to support. Actually, this project was implemented to uh, support the vulnerable um, rural farmers in battered state of um, Adamawa and Kebi. Cruden, being an implementing agency, also has this to say about the successes recorded by PROACT. Cruden is playing the role of implementer at the community level because Oxfam will not go directly, being an international organization, to the community. So Cruden comes in as a partner, as a local partner, working on the ground to work and implement the objectives of the project along for and with Oxfam. Testimonies coming from Kebbi and other more states are overwhelming. The impact of the project on the direct uh, changes in the lives of people are quite enormous. One, uh, if you look at the project, it has brought in the humanitarian aspect because the communities are already vulnerable. So the, what the project did was, in the first instance, is to stabilize the community in their vulnerability status. And then two, it has enabled the community also to begin to have food on the table. PROACT or Pro-Resilient Action is a four-year project funded through the generosity of the European Union. Gibson Sir Adugu, Go to News.